Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my spring wardrobe essentials. I decided this year to separate my wardrobe essentials from my beauty essentials, so I'm gonna do a whole other video dedicated to my spring beauty essentials, and I should have a lot more of those since I am using a lot more beauty products right now than I am sort of uh, fashion items because I haven't really been able to leave my house very much. So I've got a few things here that I think are sort of my key pieces for spring that I'm going to be getting some use out of even if I am only in the house and I thought I'd share those with you. So um, the first thing I'm going to talk about are some jeans and for the spring I love a light wash or a white colored jean. So I have two pairs from Everlane. These are both the mid-rise um, skinny jeans and they are in sort of that really, uh, not the authentic denim, what is it called? just the original sort of denim um, stretch material that is slightly stretchy, but really is more of a rigid denim. And I absolutely love these jeans. This is the light wash color. And I did cut the ends, which um, frayed them out a little bit, which I love just to make them a little bit almost cropped. Um, but I love, love, love these jeans. So much so that I actually finally broke down and got them in the bone color as well. I also cut the edges on these. I just like the way they look. And um, I love the color of these. They are, like I said, more of a bone than a white color. And they look really, really cute with white shoes, with my new white Gucci mules. Um, they're just a really, really pretty colored jean and definitely something that I know I can get some use out of while I'm just stuck here in my home. In terms of day-to-day -day outfits, I really think I'm gonna be wearing a lot of tank tops, t-shirts, and long cardigans with my leggings, which is kind of my go-to when I'm sort of working from home and just hanging around the house outfits. But in addition to that, spring is my favorite time to wear jumpsuits and dresses, and so I had a few of those to share with you. I picked up this jumpsuit from Banana Republic. It is a cropped, wide leg jumpsuit in this beautiful kind of leopard pattern. I thought this would go really nice with a black sweater, a black blazer, or just by itself when the weather gets warm enough. And it's something that is just a one and done, which is my favorite sort of way to dress in the springtime when and if I do make it out of the house. Um, my other favorite uh, thing to wear in the spring is dresses. And I don't wear a lot of dresses, but when I do wear dresses, it's usually the spring and summertime. And I have this new one that is kind of a tiered dress that I picked up from Nordstrom when they had their sale going on. And I absolutely love this. It's a midi length dress in black, which is not very springy, but I absolutely loved this. And it was something that I was intending to bring with me on vacation if my vacation, if and when my vacation ends up happening. And uh, it's perfect for kind of a beach vacation and also just to wear in the springtime with a little denim jacket thrown over the top. And um, yeah, just a really cute one and done dress. And then another one and done sort of springtime dress I have here is from The Gap. I picked this up actually last year. This is another really flowy midi length dress and it's got kind of this um, gathering in the back that makes it a little bit more form fitting on top and very flowy down on the bottom. Absolutely love it and polka dots are like all the rage this season so I was excited to have something along the lines of that trend since it is one of the trends I'm loving. Um, I will say there are a lot of trends this season that I am not in love with at all and I will not be purchasing. I am not a huge fan of puffy sleeves. I am not a huge fan of um, kind of the colored leather thing that's going on. I, there's just so many trends out there that aren't for me. So it's kind of good because I can invest in the things I love and hold off from buying the things I really don't. And I mentioned I love wearing denim jackets in the spring and I have two colors that I think I'll be getting a lot of use out of this spring. They're both from The Gap. I've got just kind of this um, kind of vintage feeling one that I absolutely love. It's super soft and I've been getting a ton of use out of this. And then I also have this white one that is again, not a bright white. It's more of almost like a bone colored white. And that is a color that I'm really loving in denim and I'm seeing it in all kinds of denim. I am looking to get my hands on some I'm not sure if they're going to be wide leg or boot cut cropped jeans, but definitely um, loving that trend and that is something I will hopefully be adding to my wardrobe soon. 
The next trend I'm absolutely loving for spring and consider to be an essential is the square toed strappy sandals. And there are so many different variations on the market and I've gone a little bit crazy and purchased quite a few of them. I've got my by fars that I actually picked up um, these last year um, in the spring summertime. And then when they went on sale, I picked up the black ones as well. I absolutely love these and they just work with everything. They've got a perfect height heel and I love the shape of the heel. It's kind of a little bit um, geometric shaped and just kind of cool and I love the comfort of these. They just work with everything. They're so stylish and understated and just a really nice shoe to go with a casual outfit or a more dressy outfit and a work outfit. They're just perfect for everything. So love these so much. And for a more budget friendly option, I picked up these Steve Madden Issy Mules in white, which have a little bit slightly lower heel. They're very, very comfortable to walk in. Something I think will look really cute with a lot of my spring sundresses and cropped pants and all of that good stuff. So absolutely love these and super comfortable. And I should have probably mentioned that Steve Madden did have a 25% off sale. So I got quite a few shoes and I picked these up. These are a kind of a thong toe or flip floppy kind of toed heeled sandal that I thought were just so super cute. And I got them in this beige or nude color. I think it's called deep nude. And these are actually called, let me see if I can see it on the box. These are called the Melrose sandal and I absolutely love them. They are really, really super cute. And I should mention that all of my Steve Madden shoes as well as my Bifar shoes. I got my Bifars in a size 36, which is true to my size, and I got these in a size six, which is also true to my size. All of my Steve Madden shoes are in a size six. And my last pair of strappy mules are these um, Caden mules from Dolce Vita, and I absolutely love these. They have the little sectioned off toe um, area there that makes it more of like a little thong sandal. They look really beautiful on the foot. I love the straight heel on these. I did size up to a six and a half on these um, just because the sixes my heel was like right up against the back of the shoe in a way that if my feet swelled I knew they would just not look right and so I went up half a size there's a little room in the back but I'm okay with that because it is a mule and I should mention I know this is a lot of shoes I excessively went overboard with the strappy sandals trend because my feet are just crazy I am between a size six and a six and a half um, and things either are too tight on me and um, I'm not comfortable or they are loose on the back when I I don't wear mules if I wear just a regular shoe. So anything that has, you know, a back to it, I've always struggled with. So when mules came into style, I just went absolutely overboard. I love all of my, you know, more simple mules. I love all of the dressier mules, just all the mules. I love them. They are such the shoe for me. My next spring essential would have to be a good pair of sunnies. I love sunglasses and my two favorites right now are both from Key Australia. They're having a sale. I don't know if it's still going on by the time this video comes around, but they were having a sale, buy one, get one free. And so I went a little nuts, um, but these are actually an older pair. These are my high keys that I talk about all the time in the black fade. These are just like one of my favorite sunglasses and these are in the mini size. So they're a little bit smaller than the regular size but they are still quite oversized and I am loving just oversized sunglasses so so much and this next pair um, I can't remember the name of this but I will find it and leave it on in a link below but I had them in black and I decided to pick up during the sale these beautiful tortoise ones and they are absolutely gorgeous these are a nice square oversized kind of um, cat eye sunny I apologize for the glare um, but I really really love these they are just like the perfect oversized sunnies and I picked them up in this and I have another color that I ordered because like I said they were buy one get one free and um, those have yet to get delivered but these are absolutely stunning sunglasses and I am just so excited for any sunshine I can get um, even if it's only in my backyard and my last spring essential would have to be a good neutral small handbag. I love small handbags in the spring, very delicate. Um, and I have four here that I thought I would mention. The first one is my newest member of my spring collection. This is my Gucci Marmont Mini and she is super, super cute. And I know I'll get a lot of wear out of this when I am traveling or going out and just wanna be hands-free and carrying just my essentials. And she's super, super cute. 
Next up, I've got this more budget-friendly option. This is from JW Pay. I don't know if you all are familiar with this company. This is a um, vegan leather handbag that is just super cute. It's got this little slot in the back. It comes with a strap that is um, not on it right now. I'm just gonna take it out. It's in its little bag inside, but um, it's got a little zipper compartment in the back. And this is just in this beautiful little snake print design. And I just thought it was so cute as not only a hand held bag but also as a crossbody bag with the strap and I'll just open so I can show you the strap um, I loved the strap as well it's a little bit thicker I have a couple bags from them that um, have really thick straps on them but I love to have that little bit thicker strap that just looks really modern and cool right now and this is the cutest little bag and I swear to god these um, vegan leather bags look so stunning and they hold up really really well I've had a few bags from this company and and um, I really can't say enough about them. They are priced really, really well as well. So I'll leave their information down below for anyone who is interested. Um, and yeah, definitely check them out. Another neutral bag that I'm dying to get more wear out of is my Chanel Diana Vintage Black, which is in this beautiful shade of beige that is just absolutely stunning and something I know I'll get a lot of use out of this spring. And last but not least of my neutral bags for spring is my Chanel Medium Large Classic Flap in the Beige Claire. This is an absolutely stunning handbag. Unfortunately, I do not use it as much as all my other bags because I, in the beginning, I was kind of scared to use it, and sometimes I find it hard to match up with anything except kind of black or white. Um, but I do, and when I wear black, I am afraid of color transfer, so I tend not to use this bag in those cases. So. I keep saying this is gonna be the year I use it more. I've thought about selling it, but ugh, it's just so beautiful and it's such a timeless classic bag that I just can't part with it. So for now, I'm going to try to use her in the spring. She's absolutely stunning and another gorgeous neutral bag for spring. So those are all of my spring wardrobe essentials. As I mentioned, I will be doing a spring beauty essentials video next and sharing some of my fragrances, beauty, skincare, hair care, all of that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you are all doing well, staying safe, and um, I will see you all soon in my next video. Have a great day.